Today you learned about the exquisite corpse drawing game, and now I'm going to show you how to kind of replicate that idea um, in Pixlr using some photos. So what you're going to be doing is um, this works best with a person or an animal. It could work with an object as well, um, but you want to basically open up three files that you are going to be combining into one. So we're going to go to open image and I'm going to open up each of my files separately. So I had three separate models. So file open image. So I'm not placing the image. I'm not adding them as a new layer. I am just opening them as separate files. Um, that way I have three tabs of each of the photos I'm going to be using. So I should have three tabs with three different photos. So I've got one, two, and three. Um, so start with whatever you're gonna use as your base image, and then you're going to take pieces of your other photos to attach to your base image. So I'm just going to be using my marquee tool. So let's say I wanted to pull this section of the face here. So I've got it selected, edit, copy. I'm gonna go over to my tab with my base, edit and paste. And I am going to move that onto my um, original base. Now you can stretch it out to make it smaller or larger. You can try to make this look realistic or you can make it look like the exquisite corpse. Um, but you are basically taking pieces from your other images to cut and paste into the other um, base photo. So highlighting it, edit, copy, edit, paste. Again, you can move these, you can stretch them out, you can make them look realistic, you can make them um, look like they are not supposed to look. You can do this as many times as you want, so you can add multiple features and multiple parts. Um, another thing that you might wanna consider is just playing around with your adjustments. So maybe see what it looks like in um, black and white. Um, if you're gonna do black and white, um, you're going to have to either change each of the pieces into black and white or just do um, it all together as one. I kind of like the way it looks in black and white. Um, it makes it harder to tell that I've done some editing. Um, you can also play around with temperatures and tints if you want to give it you know, some color. Again, um, you're going to have to change your layers. One other thing if you don't want to change your layers is just go to your top layer. And if you remember, we can merge down. So we can either flatten or merge down. Um, and when we do that, we basically make it one image. So now when we are doing the adjustments or playing around with the temperatures and tints, it is doing that for the whole thing. So that is how you um, make an exquisite corpse style photo using three separate images. So don't forget when you are done to save it as a JPEG, bump that quality all the way up and it will pop up in your downloads. I definitely um, encourage you to rename it. Remember when you rename things, you don't have to worry about Google Classroom telling you that you don't own them if you're turning them in for separate things.